Alright guys, I'm going to be the first one to do this, finally. Um, this is for the economy and shop plugin for Rocket Unturned servers. Um, a lot of people were having troubles with this and a lot of people didn't know how to do it. So um, I'm going to be the first one to be the only English with a mic unturned player <laughs> to be doing this tutorial. Um, it took me about a fucking long time, I'm telling you that now. It took me a long time to figure out how to do this. So, hopefully, because I <laughs> uninstalled a program, hopefully I can continue to do it again and again and again to help people. Um, but this is the stuff you're going to need. This is a copy of this, but I'm just going to use this one because... I don't feel like messing up my server really. I'm just gonna delete it because I'm gonna go along with you guys practically. So you guys feel more comfortable. So, alright, let's begin. You're gonna download these two from uh, Rocket Div. So here's the first one. The links will be in the description. Economy. You're gonna go down, download it. Next one, uh, shop. You're gonna go down, download, download it. Once you guys download it, move it to your desktop. Easy, right? So far it's easy. And then you're going to open up both. Yeah, 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 we get it, WinRAR. Okay. So once you download both, you're going to open up your server. You're going to go to servers, my server, rocket, plugins. So here is it at the top if you guys don't know where to go. Um, you're going to extract the economy and extract the shop. After that, you can get rid of the shop, but keep this one open, and this one. You're going to go back to this page, where it says Libraries, Logs, plugs, Plugins. Um, you're going to get the Libraries. Click it. No matter what, no matter what, no matter what, replace the files and destination. So you're going to replace it, and boom, that's it. Okay. Now go back and start your server. When you start your server, of course, you're going to get a bunch of red errors, okay? That's what it's a part, okay? So, um, while we wait for that, we're going to download this. Go to the link in the description for number three. Link number three. <laughs> and, uh, this is would be it. And you're going to click no thanks, just start download. This is what it's going to look like, guys. So, um, I have, of course, more plugins. So, there's going to be a lot more white. <laughs> but, um, shut it down when you're done, okay? Um,. So, you're going to download this one. This one is important. Okay? We're going to mess with... Actually, we need to mess with it now. So, when you go back to the folders while that's downloading, go to your plugins again, and now you see the folders. Okay? Shop, you don't really need to do anything unless you want to change that people can buy vehicles or people can't sell items. Um... I don't change anything personally. Um, maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I will change the can sell because it takes a long time. But with this bad boy, you're going to need to go to the economy configuration and change shit. Okay, this is this is important, guys. So database username username, guys. Delete this and type in root, okay? For your password, we're going to make the password right now, even though we haven't already, okay? Think of the password now and type it in. Make it simple, okay? Um, I'm going to make it high, okay? Credit, I'm just going to change it to money. Um, initial is, if someone has never joined your server, that's what they're going to get. Um, database table, you keep this and this. Um, and localhost. Make sure, and the port. Make sure all that's the same. Didn't mean to do that. And save it, okay? Then exit out of that, of course. And go back to your internet. Open that. Okay. Okay, so this is the setup wizard. This is how it would be. This isn't the configuration yet. So you're going to go to next. Um, agree after we read it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, next, typical. Make sure it's typical. And then we're going to install. So while we're installing, another thing will pop up. We're just going to click next, next. 
Next, next. Okay. Then the configuration. This is the configuration. No, not this. This is the configuration. <laughs> um, so this is where it gets a little tricky. So I'm gonna slow down a little, and you guys have to pay attention. Okay. I'm gonna click next. Keep it on detailed. Change it to server machine. Keep it there. Keep it here. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. And this one, okay? So now, the password that we entered in for the plugin for the configuration for economy, which is this one where I said keep it simple right here, this bad boy, which is minus high. So I'm going to put my password to high and high. Um, do not click this box, do not click this box, and click next. Now this part might confuse some of you, may get you frustrated, but it takes a while. So what you're going to do next, while we're waiting for that, is we're going to go to the internet, and we're going to go to this. Well, you're not going to go to the internet, you're going to go to fucking <laughs> my description, and you're going to click this link. You're going to go to downloads, don't click downloads, click installer, okay? It's going to automatically install the one that you need, um, which is good. <laughs> uh, you can click it now, opening while complete, when complete, and we're just going to wait. This is the waiting game. The apply security settings on my squill, it, it takes a while, and uh, it's kind of frustrating, okay? So hopefully we can get it this time, okay? I will go over two things though. If we get the connection error for the MySQL, we are going to have to do another process sort of. And if it doesn't, I'm going to tell you what to do, okay? So don't make just see okay, see we got the connection error, okay? So we're going to click skip and we're going to cancel, okay? While we're setting up this one, which I already have it set up, which I don't know if that's going to end up well. So you just set it up, click everything, click next, next, next. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now this one. This is where it, it changes, okay? Because, make sure you change it to um, unturned. The, name, the session name must be unturned. If you got the connection error, you are going to leave the server host to 127.0.0. .0. Point one, you're going to keep the username or the user to root, and you're going to use the same password as you did in the file for the configuration and the thing we just set up. So after that, we're going to open it, and it should open. Voila, it opened. Um, I already have mine set, but not like this. You guys are going to drop this one. Drop it. And you're going to change the name of test to unturned. Okay? Once that gets to change to unturned, you're going to close out. Once you close out, you're going to open up the server. Hopefully, we get no reds. Okay? Now, if we don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, we're going to pray this works. It worked. Okay, guys, the only red is for a different plugin. And you guys are set up. Um, now, if you did not get the connection error for the my squisk or whatever, you are going to have to change one thing. When, not in here, so don't follow me. When you are at the setup, you aren't going to keep the 127.0.0.1. You're going to go back and you're going to change it to the word localhost, one word, as in right here. Um, you are going to, no matter what, even if you didn't change it, you're going to keep it your configuration file to localhost. I don't know why, but it, it reads it like that. Okay? So, we're just going to do that. And that's it. You guys just got... <laughs> The economy set up. We're going to go into the game in a little, and we're going to set up shop, and we're going to introduce you to some uh, commands. Um, Alright, I'll see you in the game. 
All right. We're going to start up the server. Ah. So hopefully you guys figured it out with the local host and 127. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. It was already up. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to move this to my other monitor. And we're going to start up the server. Let's start it up. Why am I doing this? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm all out of it, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to start up Steam. And we're going to start up on turn. <laughs> all right. A little derpy moment right there. But um, if you're unsure of uh, certain things, you can type in Rocket Plugins. And it will show you which ones are loaded, join messages, and all, like, all that. Like, the economy's loaded and stuff. And you can see the ones that are failed, that you canceled maybe, and that are just unable to, okay? So, that's a good tip, like, reminder to check your plugins every once in a while, actually. Because sometimes they do kind of, they kind of, like, cancel during the game. Like, some errors, especially with... TP, my warps, I have warps to, like, go to other areas, um, which, there's another one, I have safe zones, my safe zones randomly delete sometimes, which are, uh, just happened actually, um, so if you have those plugins, constantly be checking that, uh, not like waking up in the middle of the night, so, you have your server, got your plugins, um, you're gonna click local and you're gonna go in. I am running workshop items, which are pretty cool actually. And we're gonna go in. Um, I'm warning you guys now. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to work a lot. Let me admin myself. Change a day. Okay, you're gonna have to work a lot. Okay, for this, I mean, oh, my LS pack's a little too small. You guys agree? Um, for this, I mean, of course, you have to type a lot. For shop adding, adding items to shop is ridiculous. I'm sorry, that's annoying, right? That zombie won't die though. Huh. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you guys my stuff, okay? Slash balance. Woo! I got 200 money, boys. <laughs> 200 money. There we go. So, that works now. And we could type slash pay KC2. Um, of course, I just paid myself, which is kind of derpy, but it works. <laughs> it's just proven that it works. Pay 100, okay? Um, if you guys would like to, um, for donation reasons, if someone is ever generous and donated to your server or anything, you and you want to give them stuff, pay, of course, their name. They have to be in the server, I think. And then the amount, of course. So I just gave myself a lot a lot <laughs> um, and I can buy stuff like uh, I could buy just kidding I don't have that stuff set up yet and this is what I mean okay I don't know you're gonna have to type every time for every little 1000 items shop add the item ID and then the price I just added a red day pack to shop for thirty dollars. Now, I know this is very annoying, but trust me, I will, I will figure something out, and I will post a video as soon as possible to do with these. Oh god, these zombies are strong. With this, like, annoyingness, like I don't know why. I mean, with his skills, I'm surprised uh, Zep isn't able to 
kind of like I don't know how to explain it. Like, add a database. Like, I don't know where this stuff goes. I don't know if it goes to the the key D squill or whatever it's called. <laughs> the plugin, one of the plugins. But we we definitely need to fix it for some reason. It's not working. So, congratulations. You have now. <laughs> A very, very, very complicated. Just like my Lamborghini. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys appreciate this video. It took a long time for me to kind of figure out. So, hope you guys enjoy. Good luck adding all your items. <laughs> certain prices um if you want a pvp server by the way i would do the initial price like one million and make a guns able to buy so like people can just buy the guns right when they join that's what i did for this one server and it was very popular actually um if you guys want any tutorials for plugins just comment down below and i will be gladly i will gladly show you how to do it um it might take me a while but i'll figure it out so, um, good luck, you guys. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Peace.